Hold up. <laughs> so I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try something. It's going to be basically like a fake live. <laughs> it's not going to be live, but it's going to be um, real time. I'm going to try to do like a short project in real time and kind of wing it <laughs> and see if I can get up a video on the same day because my usual tutorials just take so long and I really just want to be able to put out um, more videos more often and I'm really learning, trying to learn. Every time I come up with an idea though, it takes me like three times as long than I think and then I get discouraged or I don't know. I'm impatient. So anyway, I'm going to try this. So if this works out okay, um, and then I might get the guts to do a live. <laughs> uh, this way I can like, I'm going to do minimal editing though. It, like, you know, if I babble on about something stupid or I don't know, who knows what I'll do. <laughs> At least it gives me a little control and doesn't freak me out too much. Okay, so what we're going to do is, my shit, oh here it is. So I have this hat, I can't put it on because my hair is cute, um, but it's my birthday hat from last year and um, I was trying to make a double decker like what I call a fancy lady hat, oh cat fur on everything, whatever. Um, so it's, it's like wider at the top. And that's a technique I'd like to show you on like a smaller scale, but so I worked on this. It's not, when I put it on, it kind of scoops out at the bottom too, so it kind of goes like this, but whatever. Anyway, what we're going to do today is this beer flower I made. My husband laughed. He's like, who the hell makes beer flowers? Me, okay? So we're going to make a flower, a beer flower that can adorn any of the hats in any of my tutorials. You could put it on, oh, what? I got a bunch laying around here. I mean, you could put it on the bucket hat, big flower right here. It would be kind of cute, right? Flower. The cap would be really cute with a flower, right? What else do I have here? Oh, this one's coming out here soon. This is, I'm almost done with it, the tutorial for this. Um, well, anyway, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> I like it, but it's kind of weird. What else? That's about it. I got a pile of yarn so many piles of yarn over here you can't see they're all organized in little boxes but anyway so now I'm gonna go pick out okay so this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna go pick out a can and uh, we'll get started how am I doing so far okay what the hell I'll show you my can zone that I have under the counter um let's see I only need one can mostly I have them in threes this is pretty cute. In my studio room, it's ridiculous how many cans I have. More than I could ever use. Um, oh, look, there's only one of these. Boonville Gold ones. Oh, whoops, you can't see it. This one. But that kind of ruins, like, an awesome picture. You know? You won't be able to see the picture, really. It's mostly just the colors that you'll see. Are these do. Now, that's a cool. That one's cool. Yeah. I already used these, um for one of my tutorials, but like the colors are awesome. One thing, one I used before was um, this one, which was made it easier because it already has a circle on it. And so it made it easy to cut out a circle out of it without having to make a template or anything, but I'm just gonna wing it. Um, but the sides on this one, the colors are pretty cool. Mm, yeah, I, I think I'll pick that one. Okay, back, now I'm back, closer to the microphone. I'm back on the couch with my can. Um, I'm, I don't really want to make a template for this. I need two circles. Let's see. I'm just going to wing it. I didn't actually write down the instructions anywhere, I don't think. I just kind of winged it. So we're just going to wing it. it. Let's see. Actually, they look like they're the same size. So maybe I cut two circles. But that one had two circles on the can. I'm not going to worry about the picture because... Oh, I'm looking at it. I'm not showing you. I'm not going to worry about the picture because you really don't see it. You see the color a little bit around the edges. And then this one I flipped over so that when I curled it, um, so you could see the little flower inside better. That's why I flipped it over. So I've got this outer one is just a circle. And then this inner one I thought was smaller, but when I flex it out, it's about the same. So to start with, I'm just going to uh, cut two circles, I guess, or circle-ish <laughs> shapes. I'm actually pretty good at like doing circles. If I were you and you're not good at cutting circles, maybe make a template first, and you can dick around with the paper, you know, before you put it on there. 
Yeah, but I'm just gonna wing it because I have skills or something. We'll see. I also have a lot of cans, so if I screw it up, I'm gonna just go get another can. All right. I'm not gonna put music to this or anything. We're going wild here. I have so much fun doing the music though on my videos. I like doing the videos, it's fun. It's just I'm not very fast at it yet. Uh, I think I'm getting faster, but I edit the hell out of those videos. <laughs> and that's really what takes a lot of time is the editing. Whoops, sorry, Bump, bumped you. Um, that's really what takes the most time. Um, you know, I'd, I'll get better at it, I don't know. I'm, I'm a noob, but still, I see other channels that are, you know, about my size and they, they just post more often. If you just post more often, you get more action. And I'd like to post weekly, ideally. I would love that, but I don't know. Okay, let's get real. We'll see. As winter progresses, I think I'll get better because uh, summer has been very distracting for me. We had a huge garden this year, and I'm still canning. I think I've been canning straight for two months. Um, so, okay, so now I've got to, I'm, like I said, I'm not worrying about the picture because it's not going to be seen anyway. Mostly we're just going to see colors on the edges, and that's why I picked this one, because it has kind of cool colors. I don't know. So, let's see. So I think I'd like this one to be the one you see the most of, and then this one, because it's kind of cut off, will be the curvy one that you'll just see a little bit. Well, I don't know. Do I want to see letters, really? I can't really help that. Okay, whatever. Um, okay. This would be fun, too, with, like, a really recognizable beer, like maybe your husband's favorite beer or your favorite beer that's you see a lot, you know, that's very like recognizable. Like these are kind of random weird ones, but um, that'd be kind of cool. Cause then you look at the flower and you're like, wait a minute, is that a bud flower? What the hell's going on here? You know, it makes you really look at it. Yeah, I'm just faking it here. Who knows? Hopefully I don't make it too small. Sometimes I overcorrect and then they get really tiny. Okay, so that's really, why does that one look so much bigger? The other one looks way bigger. Hmm. Yeah close this might be a little smaller I don't see why but maybe I did use two cans on that one I don't think I did I don't think I would have used more than one can um yeah this is not a circle something else I forget to do when I'm making videos is to make sure my hands are in the frame and so that's a lot of editing time is just like cutting out the parts where I'm doing this and like cook like crochet and then I can start going because oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a pro I do like making videos though. I'm not going anywhere, by the way. I'm, this is my gig for now. This is my gig. So I won't be um, giving up anytime soon. I'm just trying to see how much bigger. Uh, it's still pretty oblong, isn't it? What I could do is measure. If I knew it was square, then I could start better, but I'm kind of just being a bad example for you. Make a paper, temp make a paper template, it'll be easy. <laughs> Trace something out that's about the same size, maybe even the can bottom. That's that actually is pretty close. Well, the wider part, I don't know. See, I don't have a, I don't have a list of things to talk about. I'm just gonna babble like a dork because that's how I roll. Okay, is that round? ish I'd say for our purposes it's probably close enough she said as she continued to dink around with it so once I started thinking about doing lives um I started coming up with all these cool ideas. So we'll see what happens. I might start doing lives. I don't know. To me, lives are like, in my mind, previously, I would think a small channel is wasting their time doing lives, right? Like, A, I'll feel like a dork if nobody shows up. There we go. That's pretty round. That's not bad, right? Eh, that's pretty close. Um, what was I saying? Oh, lives, yeah. But, um, and, and I don't really watch them to be honest, but I don't also don't follow or previously hadn't followed a lot of crafting channels. So I didn't do any like crafting lives, you know? Um, I guess mostly because I feel like I know everything. And I, if I'm looking for something specific, I might look up a video, but 
just for fun, I don't, I have it. Now that I have a channel, I have been. I have been, because I want to see what's going on out there and what other people are doing and stuff. And, and doing that, I have actually started following multiple channels. Excuse me, that is just fun. Like, not just to see what they're doing, but, but because I enjoy the channel, you know? And even though... It's weird, like, it's not all about teaching, you know? It's like, I don't have a lot to learn, but like, it's just fun to watch someone talk about crochet that's into it. Like I am, I guess, is what it comes down to. It finally hit me, I'm like, you know, I'm enjoying this live. I'm not sure why, she's not really doing anything. <laughs> like, we see her work in progress, we chit chat, she talks about her mom or whatever. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of fun. I don't know. It's fun. I watched for her like a while and I was like, wait, why am I watching this? Yeah. It's really just to hang out with someone who digs what you dig and gets excited about it the way you do. And I think that's really what it comes down to. That I can do. I can get excited about crochet and I can maybe inspire you to be excited too or more excited. In fact, I got inspired by one of those. I don't know if it was alive, but this chick I started following recently and it was just from, like, she had bought some yarn, and it was like an unboxing or whatever, talking about the yarn she got. And then I was like, and then she was just kind of talking about, oh, Afghans are fun because you don't have to think much, and you just kind of cruise and enjoy the colors. And I was like, yeah, I haven't made an Afghan in forever. And then I started thinking about it, uh, wanting to make an Afghan. <laughs> like, I don't have anything else going on. Okay, that one's about done. Uh, it could be a little rounder. This one I got really small. See, the more I trim it, the smaller it gets. It doesn't really matter, I guess, but this one could be a little bigger. The corners are still a little funk, but it doesn't matter because we're going to make petals, so it doesn't really matter that it's super duper round. You know, whatever. And then I'm actually going to, because I want this one flatter, I'm going to kind of try to um, flatten it out by going against the curves, you know. Oh, kind of bent it. I don't want to crease it, although I did, but I don't really want to do that. But if you kind of just bend it different ways, it'll kind of, chill. it's pretty flat now, it's pretty chill. And then I'll just make it look better when we get to the flower part. Oh, I was talking about lives. Yeah, so, and then I saw another channel where all they had was lives. And they had about the same amount of followers as me, but they only been up there like a few weeks or two months or something. I was like, really? And then the the pictures tell you nothing about what the live's about. That's perplex per bleh. It's perplexing to me. Um, I don't know that I would click on a live just randomly. I don't know. But then once I, then one day I just searched for crochet live and I found a bunch of stuff that was kind of fun. And so, I don't know, now I'm thinking about doing it. Even though I'm a small channel and maybe no one will, you know, chime in while I'm live, but then it'll stay there and you can go see me doing live shit. I don't know. I guess if you're watching this and you have any opinion about that, you can leave me some comments. That'd be amazing. I would love to get more comments. I know you're out there. Okay, so now I have two circles. Boom. Okay. Now, what I did in mind, I'm going to use the bigger one from the outside. I don't mean to make one bigger, but this one's a little bit bigger. Okay. On the other side, you can see better. So what I did with this one was, I guess I could have cut this off. It would have been easier, huh? Um... So the outer one has eight petals and the inner one has six petals because I wanted them to be offset. So I could, I should probably use a Sharpie, but I'm going to do this now to do eight would be just boom, 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 right? Cross and then cross again, like a pie. Okay. Six is going to be a little bit trickier, but so yeah. So one, oh, am I on camera? <laughs> One this way, and then across. It's easier to do them opposite and get them kind of even. They don't have to be that even. I just cut my film. They don't have to be super even. I just get, do. I encourage you a lot not to be a perfectionist because it'll just make your life miserable. Take it from a lifelong perfectionist. It's there's no. I don't know. It maybe sounds weird, but I feel like art is not as good with perfectionism. <laughs> I guess unless you're doing something like photorealistic, uh, let go of perfectionism, please. Uh, if it was perfect, you could go buy it at the store. You know, it could be made by a machine. Nobody cares. Okay, how do I do it? This way or that way? Let me just switch it back and forth like three more times. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what if I did this? Okay, what if I did this? It's 
so thin. I just love this material. It's so thin, it's so neat. There's a lot of things I just haven't even tried doing with it that I should probably play with it more. All right, I guess I'll go this way. I can't get the scissors in there. Okay, this way. <laughs> so I'm just gonna round these out as little as possible. I think in this one, I, I kept them kind of flat. Um, I don't know, not super round, you know, but oh, that's pretty good. And they're still going to touch, you know, but whatever. Because when we, because actually when I crocheted them, I didn't even have to go that far because when I crochet them together, we're going to stay on the outside, I guess, but eh, whatever. So you don't even have to, but it's easier to do the curves this way, I guess. I don't know. I'm not gonna start over, how's that? But yeah, they don't need to be cut this far down like I did. The inner one will cut further down. Oops. Also, I think a live would be fun. I mean, if anybody's out there, I would love to meet you. That's why I'm here, to make new friends. Seriously. Also, I'm making patterns, so if you haven't seen any of my patterns for sale, um, on my main tutorials I have links. And I am, I'm behind right now, but every tutorial should have a pattern and a blog post. Um, yeah, but I'm behind. Again, I'm hoping as the winter comes on, I will get much more into catching up on that stuff. I'm not so distracted by outdoor activities and other I saw someone take these and like cut flowers. I was looking, I was looking at, um, um, upcycle, recycled, um, garden art when I was working on that kind of stuff. And I saw someone had taken some of like cans, hammered them flat, cut flowers, and then just spray painted them. And I like that idea. And then they had them like stuck to their fence. So we have a giant fence and a wooden fence and it would look really cool. It's just such a, you know, plentiful resource. <laughs> There's just so many cans everywhere. Okay, so as you can see, like, I didn't really need to cut these. Well, you don't know that yet, but yeah, I didn't really need to cut them that far, but it did make it easier to cut the little curves. So whatever. And then, okay, so these ones we're gonna we're gonna put holes in, and that's why I was supposed to keep them flat. I didn't do a great job of it, but imperfection. So here's the smaller one I did in six petals, and I and they do come in further. Um, so six will be one across from each other. Don't cut my finger this time. And then thirds on this part ish. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then go, if they look good, do it straight across. It's a good way to go. If they look good. Am I in the camera? I don't check often enough that I'm in the camera. Okay, cool. And then this one I think I curved up a little bit more because I, well, it doesn't matter. Curve them up however you want. Just curve the corners. You could be doing this live with me if you wanted. I didn't mention that before, but I could have told you to grab a can. Oh, I don't know, that's not curvy enough. I kinda want these ones a little rounder because they're in the middle. stuff is fun like um like what I call kid fun it's like you know trace and cut paper and I don't know cut and paste it's not cut and paste but it reminds me of that cut and paper making templates and that just makes me reminds me of being a kid I used to love to do arts and crafts when I was a kid holy crap I'd get every single like rainy day activity book out of the library. That was my favorite. I was an only child for a long time. <laughs> I was really good at entertaining myself. I'm still good at that. 
clearly. <laughs> mm. This one's looking pretty good. Oh. I hear I'm not wearing my glasses. No wonder my eyes are starting to get wonky. Oh, let's see here. This is going faster than I anticipated. How long have I been on here? 16 minutes. Not bad. Okay, so now this one, it's good. I think it's pretty good. I kind of wanted these to be a little rounder, you know? I don't know. So I would love if um, any of you have any kinds of crochet questions or requests for projects or I don't know. Um, yeah, hit me up. I like to do a video of just on like all the different um, arts and crafts I know how to do. <laughs> it's obnoxious. <laughs> I just have always loved arts and crafts and I've spent my whole life basically just learning them. I just like to learn everything. Um, that's why I went to school basically for art because I just wanted to learn it all. I mean, I could have learned it on my own, but I didn't have the discipline. And mainly I went to college just because I needed the discipline and I like to learn shit. So that's what I did. Um, so yeah, I did, I took multiple art classes every semester and I went to school for six years. Um, and then I started my clothing business right after college and I did that for almost 20 years. So I also can talk a long time about craft shows and how to do craft shows. In fact, if you look at my blog, I have a lot written about that. And uh, eventually it'll be nice to turn them into uh, videos, series or something. But anyway, I'm not doing that now. So, okay, now I'm going to take the outer one and I'm going to put two holes in each petal with my, my little hole punch here. Oh, they fit better than I thought. Oops. Okay, you don't want them too close to the edge or too close together because they might break. I've never seen it break, but it's a fear I have. <laughs> I have fears. Oh, this one's kind of wonk, whatever. Fuck it. Yeah, these ones are okay to be square so you can fit that uh, those holes on there, I guess. I haven't made these since I made that one months ago, whenever that was. My birthday last year, so almost a year ago. <laughs> okay, so there's my outer one. Here's my inner one. We're also gonna punch a hole in the middle. That's kind of tricky. Let's oh, see, that's why I needed to cut those long ones. Ha, ah, see, exactly what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember how I did this last time, but it doesn't really fit and you don't wanna tear it. Um, okay, maybe I fight. Oh, it needs a hole in the middles. Um, what if I turn this here this way carefully? And then go, oh Jesus, let's not fight. Does it go in the middle? Am I on crack? It's a possibility, I guess, that I didn't remember taking crack and then I'm just a crackhead. I'm okay, it's all right. Do I have a hole there yet? No. Let's see. Okay, so what I did was fold that back a little and now I'm gonna try to get to the middle. See, I cut it so close to the middles. Another reason why I shouldn't have put it quite so close, but ah, okay, I did it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I did it. Okay, that's good. Good job, Beck. It's not even in the middle. Whatever, there you go, it's done. <laughs> and then one for this one too. This should be a little bit easier because it's smaller. I don't know, why can I not do this? Huh. Whatever. So this one I curled up with like a pen or something. Here's my crochet hook, crochet hook or something and just curled it like a little bit. Yeah, so it's still open, but like curled up. This is the inner one. Okay. Oh my God. Dork. Dork.
Oh, door. Oh, this one seems like it's even more. Maybe I use something fatter for that. That one I kind of... This one's imperfect. <laughs> it's imperfect. What will I do? Okay. That's all right. Okay, so now I got, let's see, this one and this one. When I line them up, they're kind of centered. Okay, see that? Boom. All right. Now I got to go find some yarn. I might take you into the yarn stash, even though it's just as messy as my beer can stash. But you know what? Now that we're close friends, I feel like I can do that. <laughs> okay. So now we've had a snack and smoke break, or not in that order. <laughs> One leads to the other, as you know. Um, let's see. So it looks like I used two colors. Looks like three on the corners. And that's it. And then, a, oh yeah, look at that. And then a shell. Easy. Okay, so I do have two colors. I might do a different color in the middle because just for contrast. I don't know. We'll see. So I've got this one for the outside. Oh, wait, I want to show you my notebook. So here's my notebook where I keep all my notes for all my patterns and stuff. Um, all my beer can hat and other patterns. I have just all my notes. When I make a thing, I just, when I'm figuring it out, I note everything. And this one I switched like three times. But anyway, um, I couldn't find one of my notebooks, so I, I dolled them up with stickers. I went on Etsy and bought a bunch of stickers. I've never done that. It was so fun. And I get to support, you know, it's different people's artwork or whatever. Isn't that cool? Look at And then, oh, I can't fit it in there because I can't um, back up. This one's great, huh? Stitch a day keeps a bitch away. So true, my friends. So true. And then, boom. <laughs> Isn't it great? I love it. I don't lose it. I do not lose it. I made another one. I did the same thing for my salsa notebook. That's what started it. I couldn't find, it was time to make salsa. I, I couldn't find my salsa notebook. Every year I make salsa and I have perfected my recipe over the last couple years and it is divine. Okay, I'll say so myself. Um, and I couldn't find it. I thought I knew what it looked like and then when I found it, it wasn't the right one and then I panicked. I like almost lost my shit. I, <laughs> I could not find it. Um, like I'm, uh, anyway, I found it and then I, I started buying stickers, uh, taco stickers. Taco stickers are easy to find. Salsa stickers, not so much. But anyway, then I thought the logical progression would be to do a crochet one, and um, those are easy to find. You can find a lot of cool stickers based on yarn and crochet. But anyway, those little things, you know, just make me happy. <clears throat> okay, so first we'll do this one. Let's see, I got orange and red, which are like my least favorite colors, but very floral. Uh, the yellow's around here somewhere. I hate yellow. I'll do with these. That's, you know, that's good enough, right? Yeah. So let's see. What if I do red and then orange and then do a red inner thing? Or do I do <clears throat> orange and then red and then an orange center? I think I'll do red first. I love playing with color. That's how, uh, partly how I, I made the, the basic um, beer can hat design the way I did was so that you could add more color to it, like the extra round and everything. Also, it's easier than doing the other joining method. It's very beginner friendly to have everything be single crochet, but <clears throat> a little time consuming, you know. So I'm gonna do three in each one of these, two, three. And I don't think I added anything between them. One, two, am I in the, even in the camera? Oh, there I am. Three, so you know, you'll see cat fur here and there, and hopefully my nails are clean. I'm so self-conscious about my nails now that I'm, that's all I show you all the time. <laughs> and obviously they're trash because I don't care about my nails. The, the, I care about certain things. Other things, I just don't give a shit, like nails. I don't wear makeup, I don't do my nails. Toenails, I do wear toenail polish, but that's my one little doll up thing, but three. Um, but anyway, <laughs> why did I say that? 
Oh, because now I'm self-conscious about it. So at least they have to be clean because I'm just like paranoid. And sometimes even if they look kind of dirty on the camera, I get all freaked out. I don't know. It's stupid. <clears throat> I gotta freak out about something though, right? <clears throat> Two, three. I thought I had something I was going to talk about. Oh, so yeah, earlier I was talking about how I had gone to some other um, crochet channels and been checking them out and um, started following some of them that are pretty cool or interesting to me in some way. And um, one of them just had me kind of like looking at variegated yarns or some kind of like, I prefer ombre to striping, but um I was just looking at what was on sale here and there and what I could get, like, because she just talked me into making an afghan. And then um, while I was thinking about it more, I decided I wanted, like, um, a blanket-like shawl or something that I could wear. Because um, I wear, I have a big uh, robe that I like to wear. Of course, I have sweaters, but for comfy, you know, I have a robe. And, like, you don't want to sit around in your robe all the time. Like, I would like a robe substitute that's kind of like a blanket that I can put on, like, a jacket, basically. So, like, I guess you'd call it, like, a kimono style, right? Where it's just a big rectangle, and then it's split down the middle, and then you, like, stitch it up the sides. Like, if it was open, I think that's a ruana, right? And then if you stitch at the sides, it's a kimono magically. So that's what I want to do. Just stitch it up the sides, fold it over super easy, like a blanket. And then I was trying to figure out like what stitch. I got all tweaked on it that night when I was looking at yarn and I was looking at stitches. Um, but I ended up getting this one yarn that is striping. I prefer the ombre, like I said. I had When I was looking at yarn, I was like, well, I'll just mix it with another yarn. And then when I... You know, when you color chained on top of a self-striping and you get like a really cool effect, um, you know. But then I was making it really complicated when the whole idea to doing the project was to do something simple and not think about it. And I was like over planning it as I do. So I just went down, I took everything out of my cart except for the one like striping, um, it's like the mandala ones. So they have just really cool um, color combinations and I just fell in love with the color. It's called Dragon. And it's like greens and blues and browns. Oh, my favorite colors. Three. So I just went ahead and just ordered like four of those, enough to make like a nice size blankety something. And just like one stitch, or not one stitch, but like one pattern, easy pattern stitch. I think I'm gonna do like a wavy pattern and do it vertically. Cause that'll make it be a, the easiest way to do the, um, the striping, you know, and not interrupt it. So anyway, if I do, uh, when I get that fab, um, fabric yarn, I maybe I'll do some kind of like a progress um, little lives or something when I'm working on it because it's just going to be so easy. It's not going to be a lot of teaching or anything, just like here's what I'm making, work in progress kind of thing. So that could be fun. Also, I'm super curious what everybody else is working on. Okay, so now I'm going to switch colors. Oops. I don't... Um, I don't tie them together anymore. Unless it's like lace or something. Not even then, really. Oh, whoops. Because okay. once you do the first stitch, it's pretty locked in if you can just hold it in place. And then you corner it. And I'm going to slip stitch around these. <coughs> And this is gonna be, I'm gonna do three. Um, a shell, center of the shell, so I'm gonna do three doubles. Don't you love a shell stitch? It's good for so much and it's so fast. I was like addicted to the shell stitch back, back in the day. Okay. So those are locked in and I did three stitches over them and I'm probably not even gonna weave them in more than that because there's gonna be a gap and I don't want them to show. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I think I'll be fine. And then one, I think I did the single around the stitch. So like this, in the gap, like this. And then, right, this is the middle of the petal. So I'm going to do the, the shell there. Five doubles. Oops. 
this kind of shit I edit out on my tutorials. <laughs> That's why I have to edit so much because every mistake is like, ugh. you don't want to watch all my mistakes all the time. Like, I don't know. I started the, the tutorials basically based on what I would want to see. That's why I don't show you super basic stuff like now yarn over hook and slip stitch. Da, da, da. And it's just, ugh. To me, that's excruciating. Like, I assume that you know how to crochet and we can skip over some of those basics and get to the good stuff. And that's why I won't be doing, like, how to crochet super beginner stuff because so many people do that and they do a good job. Like, I'll let them do what they're good at, you know? You can find, if anything I say doesn't make sense, you can search for it easily on YouTube. will be a million different people to tell you how to do it. Like, I just, I just want to get to the the fun stuff and I just I'm gonna assume that you kind of know something you can always ask me too if anything's unclear for sure I'll answer your questions but I'm just not gonna start from the beginning every time because that makes me nuts when I watch a tutorial and they just don't like, get to the point you know I'm not very patient but now that I've watched a couple that are longer like I've just watched people's just to see how different people do it what I don't want to do is just sit here and quietly tell you how to yarn over and paint my nails pink. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that's not how I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Plus, I don't. I want to be like everybody else. I don't know. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it's just by nature to do not what everybody does. Even though I'm getting ideas for like I'm not gonna give you hacks. That won't happen. I'm not going to call you guys all the time. I got, I'm not going to welcome you to my channel every time. Uh, I'm not going to do that stuff. The clickbait titles, too. I mean, I have channels that I've followed for a long time, and you see that, oh, they finally found the clickbait magic. <sighs> it just irritates. I don't want to click your stupid clickbait titles. That is, you know, I'm guaranteed that's not something someone doesn't want me to know. The secrets they don't want you to know. Shut up. <laughs> that drives me crazy. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know. This is stuff I've thought about when I was thinking about before I started my channel. You know, it's like, I'm never going to do that. Lists. I kind of like lists. There's some things I like, but it's just uncertain. I'm going to gripe a lot about terminology that people use for things because it's the, um, the SEO reason, like the search option you know like when I was um like I put a video up previously about granny wheels and I was working on doing a tutorial for them and I didn't quite get to it to get it finished but um I went online looking just to see if anyone else was making them and that's what I do a lot of times you know after I come up with a thing I'm like oh, I wonder if anybody else thought of this and usually not but um so I was looking around and <clears throat> <clears throat> and trying different search terms and stuff because basically it's a doily in a hoop right but I do it with rope and that's the difference and what I did see right away and you might be come to your mind is um the ones that people crochet in like a, um, a hula hoop or like some large I don't know where they get these hoops or if they're metal or what but um but they'll hang them indoors and do them with regular yarn and they're gorgeous right um and then they call them a mandala right of course now I know technically it's a descriptive term however putting a doily in a hoop does not make it a mandala in my mind okay mandala has a certain um connotation to me of eastern origin and like one of my friends I was talking to um about this said you know a doily has its own history you know <laughs> like I don't know I don't I don't know. It just irritates me. And I know I looked it up in the dictionary. You know, it means a, you know, radiating design that repeats from a center. But it, in my mind, it's a, a uh, an Eastern r spirituality term that has been co-opted because it's cute. And that's what irritates me about it. the cutesy terms and stuff. Like, and the fact that I, I have to use them if I want my search to work. Right? If I want people to find my granny wheels, nobody knows what a freaking granny wheel is, but they, the mandala. Oh, I got to see that, right? Oh my God. It's a fucking doily, okay? A doily and a hoop does not a mandala make. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> There's some that are really like 
uh, kind of geometric and really cool, like layered and stuff. And that looks more mandala like than a doily. A doily is a doily. Let it be a doily. It's good as a doily. You don't have to make it something that sounds cooler. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. Hey, just because I don't like it, you know, doesn't mean I'm saying anything bad about you. <laughs> all right. The orange is done. I hate these colors, but they're very floral. Um, let's do the ends right away because they'll look better as we go. If we do that, this will be in the back though. Who cares? Yeah, the other one curled up and I like it. It's fine. It'll curl up and it'll look cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Colors are good. Uh-oh, heater's making a weird noise on the stove, the wood stove, hold on. Okay, so here's where we're at. I am babbling too much. I'm not gonna edit it out, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's an experiment. Okay, so we have this back part done now. Now we're gonna do this, well this part's done. So what we need now is the little flower inside. And I can't remember how I did it, but this is a tiny flower, so it looks like double, oh, single, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how I do my flowers in um, in uh, miniature when I do necklaces. So I'll teach you that at some point. And then what do I do for the center? I don't do that magic ring shit. I mean, I don't know, I'm old fashioned. But I don't remember what I did. I probably just did it into a single crochet or something. I mean a ring, uh, chain. <clears throat> Well, let's see what we did. Okay, so I got that and I got that and that'll, well, after we make the flower, we'll just leave a tail and run it through there and then boom, pretty simple. Actually, okay, I take it back what I said about the colors. I look pretty cute. Whatever. So what color did I say? I'm gonna make a red in the middle, red. Remember. <clears throat> oh, I need a long tail. I'm gonna have two long tails so it'll be easy to tie onto the hat. Right? So let's do that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> let's see. Um it looks like how do I normally do it? One. Maybe that's it. Maybe the double crochet is where I'll start. And then I can go, because that'll be one to, to work into, and then one, two for the double, one, two more, and then back into the ring for the single. There we go. So we're gonna single, chain two, double crochet, Oops, see, there I do it again. Stay in the camera, Becky. Double, that's the tip of the pedal, right? One, two, another single back in the ring. Normally I would make like a chain four loop or something, but for this tiny thing, doing it in the chain is like better. But you can do that magic ring stuff if you want. I just, I don't know, I don't partake. Yeah, so I'm really curious if you're watching this and you're following my channel at all, um, what do you wanna see? Like, what kind of projects would you like to see or do you have anything you'd like to learn more about or, I don't know, I'm just curious what types or what even along the lines of beer can hats or other things. I'm not gonna do, well, I guess, I don't know. I'm just curious. There's a lot of things I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do jewelry probably next, which is my crochet cotton and beaded jewelry. Uh, necklaces, I made some earrings, I do things with leaves and flowers on them, and they're really, really basic, uh, but I made them to sell for a long time on the, to match my clothes, and they're just really fun to make. And it's a good excuse, like, to use up beads or order beads. <laughs> 
So that will be fun. And since I don't make them to sell anymore, I'm just going to give you all my patterns. Um, and then again, I'll have patterns for sale. I'll have to, like, you know, we'll have video and, and blog tutorials, and then I'll have written patterns for sale if that's better for you. One, two, three, four, and this is a fifth one. So I'm going to end on, ending on the tip is probably not good. I could make this a double. Oh, watch this magic trick. I'm cutting all this out if this doesn't work. <laughs> um, hi. Okay, watch this. Okay, I'm gonna double into this. And then slip stitch to the bottom. <laughs> Wait, double, and then how do I get it attached? Like this? How do I do it when I make a necklaces? I just, how do I do that? Because I start from the center. What I did was I started in the middle and that wasn't right. I should have started with a single instead. What I should have done was chain two, single crochet into the first chain, and then gone from there. And that way I would have just slip stitched into the first single, and then I could have just slip stitched into the ring. Instead I had to do a fancy maneuver, which worked, of course, because I'm amazing, but <laughs> it looks a little weird. Does it look weird? Who cares? Do I have to do it all over again? Should I? I don't I don't think so. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of this little experiment where I'm supposed to be uh, working quickly, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna stop and I'm gonna leave a long tail. <sighs> um, I'm gonna pull it through here. Oops, am I on the camera? Here I am. Okay. Oh, it looks all right. Once you get it through there. Hmm. Now I want to, now I got to pull it through my little holesies. Oops. Pull both of them through. Yeah. Boom. There it is. Ta-da. Oh, this will actually match the, um, that one hat I did. Didn't I just have it? I think, oops. Right? I mean, come on, that is pretty cute. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I making like beer can hats that you could actually wear? I think I am. It's about time, right? Because I'm the fucking queen of beer can hats, that's right. That looks pretty cool. All right, I think we're done, dude. I think I showed you something. I think I talked too much. Uh, I got ripped and babbled on and um, if you'd like to see a live, like another project um, that I can do in like one sitting, like less than an hour, I have, um, I also have like a beer box notebook I could do. Um, we could probably do a basic beaded necklace in an hour, no problem. So I could do those in a live format or something and that'd be really fun. I think I could do some other, um, definitely, real-time videos I think and that would be pretty fun because if I get this out today I will be so amazed and happy <laughs> I'll be so even if no one ever watches it I'll just be happy with myself and if I could start posting like weekly whether it's a tutorial or maybe a quick live project I can come up with whatever um or even a work in pro what prob a whip a work in progress update or something fun like that um I might start doing that okay so yeah like I said, go forth and beautify the world. Drink and crochet and be free. Can I do it with one hand, holding the camera? I'm gonna mess up my cute hair, but I think it'll fit over. Dude, I'm sorry. Is it too high, you think? Uh, it's just my hair is like in the way, but... Maybe I was gonna put it lower. Maybe I should put it lower. It's cute, dude. Come on, that is cute. I mean, yeah, Edward, maybe I would put it down maybe a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell. Oh. Wait. Put it up like that. 